Hello, my name is Adrian Bablinski, and welcome to the overview of in-game Gizmo Transform. In the other video, you can learn how to set up the, the, your project to include the Gizmo handles. In this video, I'm going to show you all the tools that the Gizmo Transform has to offer. Let's hit play in this demo scene. So, right out of the box, you'll see that you can switch between transform, rotation, and scale. You'll also realize that when you press the up and down arrow, it'll scale in the global Y and global X position. And when you hold it down, it'll increase as well. This means that you can save yourself some time by without clicking on these gizmo handles right here. Now, if you press 2, you can use the arrow keys to rotate by degree. All these can be changed in the inspector right here. When you have your chair selected, same thing. You can also move around the scene like this, like so. And now for the other cool features. Let me move this guy up. You can see that everything here has gizmos facing one direction and that's because we have global location on to turn that off let's hit alt and we'll see that it's now relative to the object i recommend keeping alt on for complex objects because it will help when an object has a weird rotation such as this chair which z's position instead of zero being ground 20 um 270 would be ground for this object. So if I hit Alt, you'll see that it does start looking a little strange. And if I go in rotation, it's hardly um, a circle and hardly uh, easy to use. It is still usable, and you can definitely you know spin it around again. And now you have a little bit more of control over it. But I recommend then just hitting Alt, and you have the same features. Another thing that we've added is the ability to turn the object without holding down the um, circle so, uh, or tracing the circle. So it's, you used to need to outline the circle. Let's hit Alt. Let's see, show you how that looks. You'd have to do this. And when the moment you get off the circle, it would snap back to its original position, thinking that you don't want to turn it again. And we realize that this is a cool feature for fine tuning, but for rotation and if you've been using a 3D program, you're more definitely more used to having a feature that does this. <clears throat> now in this scene, you can enable the no contact on these on these gizmos, but if you have uh, this kind of scene with these objects, this might not work for you. So I, that's why I recommend just keeping it to this and having that out of the way. Now you'll be able to move the rotation units. So if I do 90 and I click on my chair, you'll see that I can, now it turns by 90 and so on. And you can also do that with the scale units and move units. The sensitivity has also been greatly improved. If you don't believe me, uh, let's stop this and let's go into our other demo scene where we just have basic objects. In the last demo scenes before version 3 you used to have a point of uncertainty for the rotation gizmos and where the rotation gizmo would not catch that you're selecting the gizmo. As you see that has been eliminated. Even though the plane is at 0, 0 in the Y and should not be able to be selected we've managed to make the sensitivity strong enough so that you can rotate it in any way you'd like. Here you can see that we do have need contact to turn. If we want to remove it, we can follow our instructions right here and we can say C that to change rotation style you hit Q and like so now you have the same effect. Again, nice for simple objects to use. Another thing that we've added was the 
full gizmo lock feature. So this is more of a 3DS feature. You can hit C and now you'll have a full circle. This is nice for outlining. Maybe if you hit Alt, the difference between the two, you could then have both of the gizmos turn on. You do have to know that, note that um, this does not change the sensitivity. So you'll have sometimes moments where you are selecting the duplicate side and the gizmo not appearing, but it is there. Now you also have the ability to hold shift for uniform scale and that looks some like this. And when you hit um, in our main camera, you can see that we also now have an undo and redo feature. So through that this tutorial or throughout this video part, I have been playing with my object if I hit Z. And we added the feature for you to be able to hold the button and not tire your little finger. So I'm going to hit Z. And if you hold it down, you see that it does track the steps little by little and goes back to normal. Now, another thing that we've added was the ability to add multiple parent objects and change the material universally. What do I mean by that? You used to not be able to change parents um, and children's children. So now you can simply select where which child is this. This would be the main cylinder. Let's turn off these colliders as if they were ch just children for, for visual. And we see that we have to click on this cylinder to select all of the children. So I'm going to click on that. Now you realize that when I press E, the shader changes for all the objects, allowing you to have a more visual effect. You might not be able to see this here. However, let's go into our more complex scene. Clicking on the room, not saving this scene, I'm going to hit play here. Once I hit play, you'll see that if I select this flower pot, we have a flower, which is the child of the pot. When I hit E, you can see that the shader changes, giving it that nice look. Here as well, all the children do get selected. Same here, here, and here. And this just gives out just a way prettier look than before. And that is that for the selection script. We also added the ability to turn off and on the selection with E. And we are constantly adding new features and constantly updating. So if you would like to join the beta for the Transform Gizmo pack, give us a contact. Links in the description of this video and in the description of the Gizmo pack. Make sure to review this pack if you like it. And I hope this pack is useful to your project. Thank you.